In this lesson, we're going to pick up where we left off. We're going to make some little covers that go over the holes in these these lamps, just to like a little decorative glass cover. So we're going to start out in the left viewport, zoom in, and what we're going to do is once again use a tube cap just because it has the shape we need. It's kind of a good way to go. And you can see I have the, the center from the other mesh is showing, mesh is showing so I'm going to uh, click and drag out. And I want to make this roughly the diameter, maybe a little past the edges of the existing housing. And then I'm going to let go and inset a bit. I want to make this 8, which is the number we used on the previous mesh. And perspective viewport, P, and then zoom. I'm going to hit F3, F4. I'm going to hit S for some reason. Snap is turned on. We're going to turn it back off. And then we're just going to drag that to the front. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to make a little door out of this. So let's call it door right now. Let's make it lamp door. So it's a little more descriptive. And put an O1 at the end. Okay, so now it is a lamp door. It's a tube cap. I'm going to right click it, convert to edit poly, border select, select the border. And what I'm going to do now is shift drag it, scale it, R key for scale. I'm going to scale it in. I'm going to shift scale it, hold down shift, scale it, W for move or use click, click the move tool. There we go. So we're getting like a little curved lens. I'm going to shift and scale it one more time. And what I'm going to do with that selection is I'm going to collapse it. We've done this a couple times so far, so maybe you know it's coming next. We're going to go to edge. We're not going to use the horizontal or the vertical edges. Every other edge we're going to select. And then we're going to hit backspace to remove them. And we're left with quads in the center. So that worked out well. Uh, border selection. And we're going to shift and drag it with the move tool, W. Shift it, drag it, shift, drag it. And at the back side, I'm going to shift and scale. Shift, click, scale, do it one more time. Okay, there we go. I'm going to add a turbo smooth to the top of this. And two iterations. Okay, looks good, but looks a little soft near the rim. So we're going to come in here. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to select that one edge. I'm going to edge sub object. Alt and R to ring select. Uh, you can right click here and convert to face. It's the same as coming over here and control clicking one of the different icons. And we're going to come down and we're going to do an extrusion. It's a huge extrusion, so you right click to zero out that value. And let's do that. That looks good. Check mark for OK. And turbo smooth. See, now we have a little rim there. And what we're going to do is may just add a couple edges to make it a little tighter. So we go down to connect, let's set to one, let's set it to two, and pinch it a little bit. You can see this is very repetitive. Again, it's something we've done before, but it shows you how to do it. Click OK. Click on Turbo Smooth, F4 to see what it looks like. And that's pretty much what I wanted out of this mesh. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take that mesh. And all around the top, the sides, but not the bottom, we're going to clone that mesh. So let's go top view. I'm going to shift, drag that. I can make it an instance in case we make any changes. OK. Rotate it. Make sure angle snaps are on. They're on right there. Rotate it 180 degrees. W key to move. Move it back. There you go. Let's do it again. Shift, drag to an instance. E to rotate. Rotate 90 degrees, W to move it, and position it right next to the, the housing, and center it. And let's do it again. Right there, it's an instance. Let's mirror that. It's probably easier to just do a mirror. There we go, mirror along the Y. Nudge it a little bit. OK, I'm going to go to perspective. Let's clone that mesh upward as an instance, rotate it once again, 90 degrees, and top view. We have the move, to move tool selected. We're going to just move it in, front view, going to move it down to the top. There we go, perspective. And that's pretty much what we want. So now we have these little doors in place. 
I'm going to pause the video and in the next video we're going to make a little mounting bracket to mount this lamp to the front of the boiler.